Hey viewers, welcome back to our channel. You must be aware that your body is in a constant battle every day against threats like infection, diseases, and the formation of free radicals. Viruses and infections attack while free radicals cause damage to your cells and DNA. Some cells can heal from the damage, while others cannot. Free radicals can also contribute to the aging process and also play a part in diseases like cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. However, there's a secret weapon that can help you fight against these things. Yes, it is none other than antioxidants. In today's video, we'll tell you all about antioxidants, what they really are, and how they are good for your body. Keep watching to find out more. What exactly are antioxidants? In order to understand what an antioxidant is, we must remember some basics from science class. Atoms are made up of protons, electrons, and neutrons. Molecules are made up of two or more atoms. In order for a molecule to remain stable, it must contain the right number of electrons. Otherwise, it will turn into a free radical. Free radicals are dangerous molecules, which attack good molecules that promote essential body functions. These pro-oxidants are produced by internal and external exposures. Antioxidants combat these free radicals that cause various diseases, such as cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Free radicals are a natural part of human metabolism, but problems happen when the balance of free radicals and antioxidants is thrown off. This imbalance is called oxidative stress. Antioxidants are considered free radical scavengers. Exposure to air pollution, heavy metals, and cigarette smoke can cause free radical damage, increasing the risk of autoimmune diseases, diabetes, heart disease, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, and cancer. The use of the term antioxidant to refer to substances is rather misleading. It's really a chemical property, namely, the ability to act as an electron donor. Some substances that act as antioxidants in one situation may be pro-oxidants or electron grabbers in a different situation. What are the different types of antioxidants? There are three primary types of antioxidants found in nature. These include phytochemicals, vitamins, and enzymes. Antioxidant enzymes. Enzymes are types of antioxidants that come from the proteins and minerals you eat as part of your daily diet. In order for antioxidant enzymes to provide optimum antioxidant activity, they require cofactors such as iron, copper, selenium, magnesium, and zinc. The quality of protein source also has an impact on the quality of the antioxidant enzymes. Antioxidant vitamins. Your body does not produce antioxidant vitamins naturally, so it is essential to include dietary sources of them in your daily intake of food. Common antioxidant vitamins include vitamin A, C, E, folic acid, and beta-carotene. Vitamin A is particularly important for improving the immune system, eye health, tissue repair, and cholesterol levels. Vitamin C helps to protect your skin from UV damage, promotes better iron absorption, provides greater resistance to infections, and helps to regulate blood cholesterol. Vitamin E is important for maintaining healthy blood vessels, improving skin conditions, and protecting your body's membrane. Meanwhile, folic acid is important to women of childbearing years, particularly in preventing the development of neural tube defects in the fetus. Beta-carotene is also a powerful carotenoid, which is a type of phytochemical that is considered to offer the best protection against free radicals. This vitamin is most commonly found in orange-colored vegetables like carrots, pumpkins, and sweet potatoes, and dark green vegetables like spinach, kale, and collards. Antioxidant phytochemicals Phytochemicals are the antioxidants that are naturally used by plants to protect themselves against free radicals. Studies show that humans who eat sources of phytochemicals also benefit from the antioxidant properties of the plant. Phytochemicals are broken down in four categories, which are carotenoids, flavonoids, allyl sulfide, and polyphenols. Most natural whole foods, such as whole grains, fruits, and vegetables, contain phytochemicals whereas processed or refined foods contain little to no phytochemicals. Sources of antioxidants. You can get antioxidants from many sources. 
Some are naturally produced in your body and some naturally occur in the foods you eat. You can also add natural or synthetic antioxidants to foods that don't normally contain them, either for their health value or to preserve the food from oxidation. A healthy diet is the most effective way to get the antioxidants your body needs. Fruits, vegetables, green tea, grains, eggs and nuts are all useful sources of antioxidants. Despite the marketing hype, antioxidants found in so-called superfoods are no more effective than those in regular fruit and vegetables, so you're better off saving your money. But it's a different story when it comes to antioxidant supplements. Research has found that antioxidant supplements may cause more harm than good. A trial had found that antioxidant supplements are ineffective or even detrimental to health. The reasons are unclear, but the added nutritional benefits from consuming antioxidants in a healthy diet is likely to contribute to this. Also, the high concentrations of antioxidants associated with supplement use can lead to problems. Antioxidant Health Benefits Now that we've told you all about antioxidants, it's time we talk about their tremendous health benefits. Number 1. Boosts Heart Health Antioxidants like vitamin C, E, selenium, copper, and zinc have powerful cardioprotective activity. It's been found that adequate vitamin C intake can cut the risk of stroke by as much as 50%. There are hundreds of other studies that state that intake of plant-based diets loaded with fresh fruits and vegetables can protect the heart and prevent cardiovascular issues. Fruits and veggies are loaded with antioxidants, and this proves the point. Number 2. Improves Brain Health Antioxidants have been found to improve memory and cut the risk of dementia. Antioxidant vitamins and minerals such as vitamin C and E, selenium and zinc have been shown to function as natural antidepressants. Antioxidants also work as mediators in your central nervous system, thereby preventing inflammation and boosting cognitive health. Most brain diseases are associated with oxidative damage or oxidative stress, which can be prevented and often improved with a higher intake of antioxidants. Greater consumption of cardinoids, which is another branch of antioxidants from foods such as sweet potatoes, yams, and carrots, has been linked to cognitive benefits in adults. Number 3. Increases Immunity Free radicals are naturally formed by the body during exercise and through various energy processes in the body. At the same time, your body releases enzymes to keep these free radicals under control. Many antioxidants work by quenching free radicals' need for an extra electron, thereby neutralizing these potentially harmful particles. So by eating antioxidant-rich food, you add an extra layer of protection to your body's natural defenses helping to ensure that the usual enzyme defenses don't get overwhelmed. Number 4. Good for your skin Antioxidants such as alpha-leolenic acid produce valuable anti-inflammatory results by increasing circulation and cell metabolism. Reducing inflammation promotes even more skin tone and helps keep acne and wrinkles at bay. Your skin is exposed to ultraviolet rays from the sun throughout the day. This produces free radicals and reactive oxygen species that cause damage to cells as well as skin tissues. This can make your skin appear tough and wrinkly. Antioxidants that stimulate blood flow in your skin can help encourage the growth of new cells and make sun-damaged skin appear younger. Number 5. Improves Your Eyesight High-dose antioxidant vitamins can prevent the progression and even reverse age-related macular degeneration and other vision issues. Studies have shown that antioxidant supplements like vitamin C and E can reduce cataract progression in less than three years. Other important antioxidants for vision health are lutein and zeaxanthin, which can also prevent age-related macular degeneration. And then we have vitamin A which nourishes and protects your retina and other eye structures and is important in preventing night blindness. Number 6. Limits Outward Signs of Aging By neutralizing free radicals, antioxidants may help limit not just the internal deterioration caused by aging, but also the outward physical effects. Some studies have shown that antioxidants may reduce the signs of aging by minimizing wrinkles, preserving the texture of the skin, and even reducing your susceptibility to sun damage. Number 7. 
helps prevent cancer. Antioxidants prevent free radical damage, which has been found to cause cancer. Studies have shown that even dietary antioxidant supplements can aid cancer treatment, given their ability to fight oxidative stress and inflammation. Another study states how total antioxidant status can decline during cancer treatment, meaning that antioxidant supplementation can help the treatment process. Number 8. Strengthens your hair Antioxidant supplements can improve your hair health and treat nutritional deficiencies that can compromise the health of your hair. And since your hair is regularly exposed to sunlight and pollution, it's constantly being bombarded with free radicals. Antioxidants can combat this, protecting your delicate hair follicles and preventing hair fall caused by oxidative stress. Is there anything as too much antioxidants? Too much of anything is bad, and the same goes for antioxidants. There are a number of reasons why high concentrations of antioxidants may be harmful. At high concentrations, antioxidants may act as pro-oxidants, increasing oxidation and causing damage. They can also protect dangerous cells such as cancer cells as well as healthy cells. In large amounts, they can also reduce the health benefits of exercise and have unwanted side effects, such as nausea and headaches or even reach toxic levels. Are antioxidants a part of your daily diet? What are your sources for it? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie! Wait! What kind of bestie are we if we don't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video, and enjoy!